Oh, hi boys and girls. I was just going through my recycling bin to see if I can find something old that I can make new again. You know, recycling is very important. It helps the earth stay green and clean. So the next time you find something old, try and see if you can transform it into something new, just like Maxine does in the next book I'd like to share with you. Made by Maxine. Written by Ruth Spiro and illustrated by Holly Haddam. Meet Maxine. She likes making new things from old things. She deconstructs and reconstructs, unscrews and reglues. Maxine makes everything better, um, mostly. Meet Milton. From the day Maxine spotted him in the pet shop window, she was hooked. His scales shimmered, his fins fluttered. Was he waving to her? Since he was a fish, it was hard to tell. Maxine fell in love with Milton. He was a special fish and deserved a better home than a boring glass bowl. If I can dream it, I can make it, she said. And then she did. First she tinkered with some old toys and made a spectacular tank. Cowabunga. Next, she repurposed a broken bike and made a pedal-powered fish feeder. Really delicious. For a final touch, Maxine repurposed some vegetables and made music. Being a fish, he was not much of a dancer, but Milton wiggled his fins to the beat, practicing his slick moves. Catchy tune. One day at school, Miss McMiller made an exciting announcement. This week, we'll have a class pet parade, she said. We'll meet on the playground after school and then march around the building. If you don't have a pet at home, you may borrow one from our classroom. I'll bring Mittens, my kitten. I'll bring Felix, my ferret. I'll bring Milton, my goldfish, said Maxine. It's a pet parade, not a wet parade. A goldfish can't march. He doesn't have feet. Milton is a very special fish, she replied. You'll see. At home, Maxine told Milton about the pet parade. He bubbled with excitement. Being a fish, he didn't get out much. It's okay if you don't have feet, Maxine said. Fins are perfectly fine. No, they're better than fine. They're fabulous. But Milton's spectacular tank was also spectacularly heavy. Maxine moved Milton into his old bowl. It was boring, but easier to carry. This is only temporary, she reassured him. Then they practice marching. Splish, surfs up. Splosh, splish. I feel seasick. Maxine's enthusiasm was dampened, along with her sneakers. We need to make this bowl better, said Maxine. She collected containers from all around the house. Maxine fitted and filled, fixed and fiddled, and failed. Oh, maybe this isn't such a good idea. Maybe I should borrow the class hamster instead. Was Milton crying? Since he was a fish, it was hard to tell. As the big day approached, the pet parade was all anyone could talk about. I brushed mittens, so she's extra fluffy. I made Felix a new, sparkly collar. Maxine thought about Milton. With his shimmering scales and fluttery fins, he was beautiful and funny and smart and talented, and he was her friend. Sorry, hamster, I'm marching with Milton. After school, Maxine picked up her pencils and paper and planned her project. She had already discovered a million ways that would not work, which meant she was getting closer to finding a way that would. She repurposed a race car, 
upcycled an umbrella, and reprogrammed an old remote. All afternoon, she deconstructed and reconstructed, unscrewed and re-glued. And she tinkered and hacked, bent parts forward and back. Maxine made a music-playing, fin-wiggling, wave-sensing, wheel-spinning, dance-powered Fishmobile Pet Parade Float! Fantastic! Fintabulous! Fincredible! Meet Milton, said Maxine, my very special fish. He's dancing and driving. Watch your feet coming through. Miss McMiller complimented Milton on being the best behaved pet of all. Was he blushing? Since he was a fish, it was hard to tell. She also complimented Maxine on finding a way to include Milton. If I can dream it, I can make it, Maxine said, and she did. She's right. Never give up on your dreams, boys and girls, and never give up on Mother Earth. Always recycle and make something new out of something old. Until next time, happy reading and happy recycling.